Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be diving into a brand that is completely new to me. They were kind enough to send me a PR package and I had never heard of the brand. It is Code 8. They sent me this nice large box full of their lip products. So I thought that I would dive into the brand a little bit, share a bit with you about the brand, share with you swatches, lip swatches, a little bit of information, my thoughts on these products. So if you would like to hear what I think of Code 8, a little bit about them and see some swatches, then just keep watching. So what I have discovered from doing my research about the brand is that they are a London based beauty brand started by two women and they have like an, an eight principle code that they kind of operate by, um, which I think is really interesting. I guess that's where they got the name code eight. So there's eight different principles that they run their business based on. So I'm going to share them with you real quick and then we'll dive into the makeup. Own your time. Invest in high performing assets. So I guess that means they use a good quality ingredients. Be color smart. They did say on their website that they don't target one particular age or skin color that they want their products to be accessible and flattering for everyone embrace the real you which is nice because a lot of times people use makeup to kind of mask something they're insecure about but kind of embracing the features you like is important i feel like in makeup too many people just want to cover everything and pretend i have blue bags under my eyes i've tried to cover them for years i've come to terms with the fact that it's never going to go away be confident you're only your best face forward they believe it's time to ease up on preconceived beauty ideas and enable you to look your best natural self, which is nice. Maximize your potential. Get inspired with our effortless edits. It says for every palette or lip color you buy, they have an edited selection of fine color pairings. So that's nice to know. So those are the kind of eight principles why they are called code eight. So now let's jump into the makeup. Okay, so diving into the box. This is what the packaging looks like, very luxe. It's like a matte black with matte gold writing and detailing on it. So we will sort these and open them up and give them a try. Okay, so the first product we'll start off with is the Matte Velour Contouring Longwear Lipstick. Now it says that this is matte but never flat, a lipstick with an extremely comfortable texture delivering vibrant matte color with a modern velvety finish. Its buildable formula allows for precision and control in application to achieve defined lips in either a long wearing tint or intense velvety matte finish in full color effect. Due to the balanced mix of waxes, the formula has been created to enhance the volume of the lips and glide on with high spreadability to achieve the perfect lip contour. Okay. It reminds me of like the Estee Lauder lipstick packaging. Magnetic closure. Very nice. This one is the shade Lima. Ooh, it's a really pretty dusty rose. Slight vanilla scent to it. That's really pretty. Beautiful dusty rose color right there. So let's try this one on. This is probably a really bad day to do a lip swatch video because my lips are so dry, but as we get into the winter, I don't see it getting any better. All right, the color is nice. It does feel very thin and matte, but not drying. There is a slight fragrance to it and I can't pinpoint what it is it's something a little bit sweet and something a little bit flowery some combination but here is Lima okay. next we have three of these these are the five second express hydrating lip colors and it says combining the hydrating and repairing benefits of a lip balm with the color effect of a sheer lipstick this crayon is for applying color on the go leaving your lips instantly leaving your lips intensely hydrated and subtly tinted first one is Miss Saigon, just like a like plummy rose shade. Next we have Carmen, ooh, like Carmen San Diego's cape. Definitely a pinky red. I wouldn't even say that's a red. That's just like a pink. And then we have Off Broadway, ooh, a nice rosy shade. Now I do kind of want to know how these go on the lips. So let's try the first one, which was Saigon. The 
This one has like a little bit more of an intense scent flavor to it. I wonder if this is berry. I don't care for the fragrance. I don't like fragranced lip products unless it's mint or vanilla. That's pretty much all I can handle on the lips. I don't like floral. I don't like fruity. But I do like the shine of this. It's very comfortable. It's much more forgiving on my chapped lips than the lipstick was. So this one definitely has more hydration, more slip, more shine to it. So I'd say of the two, I prefer the formula of this one, but the less scented option of the lipstick. Next up, we have three of these. These are the Color Brilliance Sculpting Lipsticks. And it says, rediscover the elegance of the classic bright lipstick in an extremely smooth and comfortable texture that melts into the lips, leaving them enveloped in shiny, rich, radiant color with a pleasant, creamy feeling. Thanks to a blend of esters and waxes, you can sculpt your lips with a long lasting and uniform film of color that will help minimize color migration into the skin's micro wrinkles. Thanks. <laughs> so the first shade I have for this one is Spioggia Rosa. And they look kind of like a balm packaging. Definitely more sheer like a balm. Again, Lux magnetic packaging. Next up, Wonderlust. It looks like a nice peachy nude shade. And the Met, which is more of a plummy shade. Now I usually go for this type of color, but why don't we try this plummy one, the Met. Okay, well, I don't love the color. It's just not my particular color. This is shinier than this product, much shinier than this product. This one just has that vanilla scent. It doesn't have the like berry scent that the second product have, the five second lip product had. So I like the scent of this one better. And I like the shine of this one. I just don't particularly like this color. So let me try one more and see if it's a better fit. This one, this one. We'll try the rose one. Again, not my color, but I didn't pick the shades. They were sent to me, which I am grateful for. I get a chance to try the formulation. I think I like the formula of this one the best so far. I just don't particularly like any of these shades. They're just not my cup of tea. I go for like nudes or reds. And that's pretty much it. I generally don't veer into the coral or pink or cool pink very often. But here are the shades of this product. And these are the Color Brilliance lipsticks which feel more like a tinted balm. And then finally, we have a handful of these. These are the Glaze or Glaze Longwear Lip Lacquer. These are formulated with intensely rich color. Glaze is a buildable effort liquid lip lacquer that colors, protects, and keeps lips soft and moisturized. With a precision applicator and one quick sweep, Glaze delivers a highly pigmented semi-glossy film that melts into the lips in perfect adhesion while leaving them hydrated. So there's some fun words in here. The result is a three-dimensional, smudge-free, and well-defined lip that shines with bold, sophisticated hues. Use one quick sweep of lacquer to deliver a light color effect that is rich in energizing vitamins or apply generously for a long-lasting, intense 3D latex look effect latex so like high shine interesting so the packaging is really pretty okay it's like a little flat paddle doe foot applicator this one is the shade safari all right i can see the shine next up we have minimalist they're printed very small on the bottom it's quite hard to read <laughs> Ooh, now that's my cup of tea right there you can see it's very thick. I think this next one says Pisco, but I'm not really sure it's very small. I will link all of the shade names and links down below. This one's definitely a purple, not up my alley, but I feel like my daughter would look beautiful in that with her dark brown skin. Red. This one is Gala. This is so thick. That's like a blood 
red, like a deep, deep, deep red. Not a cherry red, not strawberry. That is like dark red. And then the last one that I have to share with you is in A Midnight in London, which looks like a brownish purple. Ooh, black and purple. Also not my shade. So we will try Minimalist and see what we think. I'm getting whiffs of perfume as I'm applying it. The color is still not perfect for me. I feel like I need a little bit more like cool brown undertones to this for it to be like my perfect shade, but I wonder if it dries down. It says long wear lip lacquer, so perhaps not. It says a latex like look. Hmm. This one has like a fruity floral again. So I feel like these products have the same scent and then these products have the same scent. This was like light vanilla. This was like fruity floral. I can't quite pinpoint it, but I'm not enjoying breathing in that fragrance every time I talk. So I don't know. Is it long wear? I won't know until I wear it for a day. So it is so shiny. I don't expect it to be long wearing because I mean, it comes right off. So as soon as I take a sip of something, eat something, it's going to come off. So I'm not exactly sure how this is considered long wear, but it is a very high shine kind of lip gloss type of product. Not super sticky, like very comfortable. Um, I don't know. I mean, all in all, it's been fun to try products from a brand I've never heard of. It's been fun to research them, find out more about their kind of business policies, business practices, the business principles, if you will. So, I mean, I had fun, but did I find any products that I can't live without? As of right now, no. I like the five second lip crayons. They're very convenient. They go on well, but again, the fragrance, I'm just not a big fan of. I feel like if they took the fragrance out, I'd like them even more. The packaging, is very luxe, very nice on all of the products. So definitely A plus for packaging. These are beautiful. If you guys did enjoy this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.